Top of the morning, peeps! We're gonna start out the morning by making some little ornaments of the girl's footprints. And what you do is you make salt dough, kind of like you're making Play-Doh. I'll show you my version of it. You put their paw in them, and you put their name on them in a circle, and you put them on the tree. I have gluten-free baking mix. Cup of water. And a cup of salt. A cup of salt? Cup of salt. A cup of salt? The a entire whole cup? A cup of salt. If I can even get it to come out. Why a cup of salt? That's a lot of salt. You don't eat this? Salt, though. Do you eat this? No! It's to make an ornament. Of course, you don't have to use the expensive salt. She just put a cup of salt. Now, you don't eat this, right? No, you do not eat this. These are to make ornaments. Be very clear about that. You can use this same dough to make um, ornaments for your kids' feet or your kids' hands. The recipe is one cup of flour, a half a cup of water, and one cup of salt. So once you've got your dough, you want to take some out, put it into a ball, flatten it out, and make something sort of like what I have here. Then take how, you know, you can take your top of your cup, push it down to get to the size you want. That happens to be the size I want for ours. Just clean up your edges. Okay, come on. It's your turn. Come on, which pie you want to put in there? Wait, wait. Let me get the camera. Let me get the camera. Which Ha-ha! That's good. Ta-da! Fingernails and all! <laughs> you did it, Doodle! Hooray! You did it! Don't eat it, Doodle! Back up! Doodle, Izzy eats her paws, so hey, that's, that's why I said to you guys, Doodle's gonna eat that. Doodle, don't eat it! It's not food, you can't, don't eat it! So make sure you do not lose focus of whose is whose. This one is Izzy's, and I know that because her nails are longer than Doodle's. And I'm going to take the end of a paintbrush and create a little hole in there. Are you trying to figure out what just happened? Huh? What just happened? Did you figure it out? Let me see your paw. Shake. No, not play. Shake. Good girl. Sit. So I just put the new star starter solenoid on there. Oh, that came on. That's good. Great. That's weird. Not good. So that wasn't the problem. Unless I got that hooked up backwards. Which I don't think you can get a solenoid hooked up backwards. Huh. So I hooked up the booster. Still nothing. Maybe my battery's dead. It can't be because I got 157 joules at it. We tried, checked everything. The fuse, the solenoid, the starter switch, everything. And we found out it was low in oil. And this old thing has a... It has a sensor, if it's low on oil, it won't start. Isn't that crazy? And it's flashing, so we think that that's the problem. It actually has oil protection, oil sensor protection. S sentry, was that say sentry? Sent sentry. So we checked the fuse, everything's firing, uh, put a new okay, solenoid still, in it. Still doing, still flashing. Still flashing? Yeah, still flashing. I remember that could be a little bit on the dipstick from uh, from you pouring it in. This is the stroke, hey, stroke victim and he's still alive and I didn't get his truck yeah, yet. Yeah, believe it or not, yeah. How come yeah. I didn't get your truck yet? Oh, uh, because I'm still alive. Guys, I feel like it was low on oil. How, did you, how, how in the world does this have the technology back in 1991 to figure out how it was low on oil? I've never, I, I couldn't imagine the whole thing like this would know it's low on oil. Yeah. That's crazy. What do you think, Danny? I think it works. It's good. These things were built. Yep. And it was in there for maybe a good seven or eight minutes, and they're dry. So because I made them bigger, what I did was I cut them with the scissors to the, to the size that I wanted. And I'm going to paint them with some gold acrylic paint. Now you can paint inside this, you know, the paw prints for different colors if you want. And I might do that with some brown and then paint the outside gold. Or I might paint the inside gold and the outside brown. I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but I'm sure I'll show you guys the finished thing. And he's out there with the pine needles. He just cannot, cannot sit still. And by the way, 
I wanted to tell you guys, I know a lot of you have commented on a few things um, of what Ross's issue with his arm and his skin and everything could be. And I really, really thank you for all of your input on it. Um, Ross has, he had a lot of seizures and a lot of things when he was a kid. So sometimes um, his skin is very, very sensitive. Um, and sometimes it actually hurts him. And it's very odd. Um, it's something that he has had since he was a kid. Um, but what had happened was he had shaved his armpits. And before we went to my mom's house, he had said to me, my armpit hurts. <laughs> so, you know, me being me, I'm like, well, you know, let's just watch it, see what happens, see what happens, see what happens. And then we get to my mom's house. He's like, my armpit really hurts. And, nah, nah, nah. and I was like, okay, so stop putting deodorant on. So then a day or so goes by, he's like, I can't put my arm down. Meanwhile, he was going to the gym. He was doing all this extra stuff and riding the bike and lifting weights, doing all this crazy stuff with his arm. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling. I don't mean to. I'm just, he's constantly telling me to be loud enough in the video. So I'm trying to do that. Um, the other thing is, so uh, when we came home, he showed me his armpit. And it was really red and in a mess. And I know that because Ross takes testosterone replacement, that his um, his pimple, he gets a lot of pimples and things like that from that because it's an oil and it comes out through your pores. Um, so I figured, I was like, well, maybe it's an ingrown hair because you shaved your armpit. <laughs> um, so we started him on some antibiotics that I have um, for my face and things like that for sebaceous cysts because I get them here. They're hormonal um, cysts and hormonal, um, like, acne basically so he was on doxycycline and he's been on doxycycline since we got back and they have gone down and it was not shingles I've had shingles I know what the rash looks like I know you know I I've been in the medical field too and it, you know it could have been something else but I'm more than likely it was you know an ingrown pimple because it's much better now and there was a whitehead on it and it popped and it didn't spread. If he would have had shingles, what happens is um, there's white head on it and when it pops, it's got liquid in it and then you end up spreading it and it's a big mess. But that's not the case with him after we popped it. So, anyways, back to my theory. We also had a spray, the antibiotic spray we put on him and it worked. So, if, you, if we have any attorneys that watch us and you need some freelance paralegal work, Heather's paralegal, so contact her in the comments below if you're an attorney. This way, um, you can subcontract it out to her, and she can do it out of the house and probably do it for like half price. You know she's trustworthy. You can trust her. I know what I'm doing. See, some changes are coming up, guys, because Heather's going to... Heather, what's the channel name? We don't know the channel name yet. We're going to integrate it's, it with our funny. channel, The Deprays, but it's all about makeup. Instead of put makeup and, and hair and stuff like that, it's all about Heather's Skin makeup hair and hair, and all that stuff. skincare products. So we're not going to put them on our main channel because we don't want to bore you because we look at those views and... There's only like 25% women that watch us, so the rest are men. So we don't want to bore you guys, so we're going to put a whole different channel for that, where you can subscribe to that or not. Um, but I'm going to probably create that channel tonight, and uh, I'll probably put it in the description of this video. So make sure you sign up. It's going to say Heather's channel at the bottom of the description. If you sign up to her channel, you know, even if you don't watch the videos, just sign up to it just to get her subscribe, subscribers to help her out. Um, hit, you know, subscribe, and then... Um, well, you guys like watching Heather, I guess. I do, too. I like watching Heather, right? You like watching Heather? Yeah, she likes it, right? What? She says what? So, have a good one, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. It's freaking cold here tonight. I can't even work on my tree tonight. My back hurts. Her back hurts. Now all the eggs and are oh, brother. That's why she needs to work from home, guys. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.